Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting right into it. Hellblade 2 has got to be one of the best games I've played in years. Welcome back to the channel, folks, or welcome here if this is your first time here. We're talking about Hellblade 2, and I want to touch on a few things that I think make this game an absolute incredible piece of work. But before we do that, I want to go over just a little bit about what Hellblade 2 is in case you're not familiar with it and give you a bit of a heads up as well. If you have not played this game yet, then this video will contain gameplay that is going to spoil it for you just a little bit. So if you're looking to play it yourself and you don't want to see how it plays out, I would recommend playing it first. Hellblade 2 takes place in the 10th century Iceland. You play the protagonist, Senua. Now, this woman has, I guess, what would be considered schizophrenia or psychosis. Uh, that will become evident as soon as you start playing the game. There are a myriad of voices that are constantly circling around you. And when I say circling around you, if you're wearing a headset or headphones to play or listen to the game, they are quite literally circling around you. The 3D audio that this game has implemented is incredible. It's a third person game very minimal to no HUD elements at all. It's a very direct, linear, A to Z experience. And that leads me into what I think this game executes incredibly well. Visually, the fidelity of the game is amazing. It's gory, it's gritty, it's violent, it's disturbing. The weather effects, the day and night, the lighting, it's incredible. The animation of the characters, of the killing, it's amazing. They've executed a true work of art with this game. The audio is amazing. The voice acting is incredible. If you're someone who's sensitive to sound, then the voices may get a little overwhelming to you at times. They are pretty much non-stop. It's something that continues from the very beginning of the game until the very end of the game. In my opinion, it's incredibly well done. It immersed me in the game from the very get-go. It did not bother me because of the minimalistic aspect of the game, not having a myriad of side quests or a lot of downtime just traversing open areas looking for the next thing to do. It did not bother me. It keeps you engaged. It doesn't let you relax. It doesn't let you get slouchy. As soon as you transition from one area or element into another, there's a whole new host of voices and allure pulling you into the next. Now that being said, the game is very resource hungry. I have a good machine, definitely not a $10,000 machine, but a strong solid machine. I'm playing in 1440p and the game does pull very heavily on my system. So even if you're on console, I would imagine that your system is going to spin up and get pretty hot and pretty loud. Uh, however, if you are playing it on a console like PS5 or Xbox, a nice high definition television, you're going to be in for an incredibly pleasing visual experience. Now, apart from that, the one thing that I think drew me into the game more than any other was the lore. This Nordic occult psychosis based lore that the main character Senua seems to be trapped in. It's incredibly intriguing. It grips you from the very beginning, like I've said. And because it really doesn't slow down or stop, and you're constantly being presented with really sometimes hard to digest visuals as well as a ongoing onslaught of voices, the experience is second to none. Coming from someone who also primarily plays first person shooters and battle royales, I can tell you that it's incredible to actually play a game that's been fully finished. And not only that, it's been fully finished and released for $34.99, so I would have gladly paid $70 for this game. Now, I also saw some folks online who were leaving less than positive reviews, mainly complaining about the fact that the game was nothing more than a walking simulator, and there really wasn't anything going on in the game. I personally have no idea what these gamers are talking about or looking for. Yes, there aren't 50 different side quests that you can spend endless hours uh, figuring out how to complete, but that's not what this game is intended to be. This is an interactive piece of art. Writing, storytelling, audio engineering, everything. This is a movie. You're getting to take part in a movie. 
a six to eight hour movie that you paid $30 for. So I don't know what the people who are leaving negative reviews are looking for in a role playing game as far as this particular type of role playing game is concerned, especially considering that the first game was pretty dang similar, but to each their own. I would personally say this game is meant to be played in all of its glory. I know a lot of people don't have time to play games. Some people just simply don't enjoy the task of playing the game. They like watching other people play the game. But if you are a fan of the occult, if you're a fan of role-playing games, of gritty, gory, story-driven narratives, I would highly recommend you purchase this game and play it for yourself. It is truly an amazing experience. I have yet to finish the game. When I do, I'll probably upload it in three or four parts. It's only six to eight hours long from what I have researched, so it shouldn't take too long to finish. But the game is by far the best money I've spent on a game in years. And I say that with full confidence. This game is incredible. It deserves all the awards and accolades it has coming to it. I highly recommend it. That being said, I am going to be live streaming the game until it's finished here on YouTube and Twitch. There are links in the description of the video as well as on the channel itself. I'll drop in a card or I'll drop in uh, a little graphic here of the Twitch channel in case that's your preferred platform for live streaming as well as a link to the first playthrough video. I'd love to have you guys and gals back. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinion of the game if you've played it. If you haven't played it, what your thoughts on playing it are. Liking the video goes a long way, guys. It's totally free. If you enjoyed enough to subscribe, like I said, I'd love to have you here. I'd love to have you in the live streams. We stream three days a week. I will be out of town this week, so we will be back at it next Tuesday. Anyway, folks, I cannot recommend Hellblade 2 enough. They've pulled off an incredible theatrical achievement in the form of interactive entertainment. The only thing I can imagine the negative reviews are coming from is how poisoned and cynical that gamers have been made by companies who are releasing games, primarily in the genre that I focus on, that burn us time and time again and rob us of any real joy. And I'm here to tell you that is not this game. This game is worth its weight in gold and I think you should download it Refund it, download it again, share it with a friend, upload it, all of the above. I thank you guys so much for stopping by, for hanging out with me on this video. Be on the lookout for the first upload of the playthrough that we live streamed on Tuesday. I'll be cutting out the parts of the video where I was in the menus trying to tweak some things. So there will be a slight bit of skipping, but you won't miss too much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Thank you.